All right, I have a really cool vi video for, for you here. Blue Eyes, the Pitbull Husky mix. I bring him out again, and today I have him naked. No prong, no electric. Um, yesterday, I took off the electric, and I showed and I showed that. Today, from the beginning, there's no – and I take off the prong, so nothing nothing on this dog. I really want to show – it's not about any tools. We can we can go 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 out with a with a dog, a pit bull husky mix that was killing things, ki killing prey and stuff. And I can take him out with nothing on, and you're gonna see him around the ducks, guanas and stuff, and the hunting game that I do. Now I I, I introduce some something new into this game today, and I'm not gonna say what it is right now, but you're gonna see it. Watch to the end because I'm going to talk at the end of it again and explain why, why I showed this, but why I actually wouldn't introduce this into the game. It's really important. So, so stay to the end video and, and I'm going to explain to you, even though I introduced this, I wanted to show you that I could, right? And how competing reinforcers work and this and that, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to explain why I would not. All right, blue's gonna be gonna see. He got nothing on. Absolutely nothing. Let's go see. We got flocks of ducks. Come here, blue. And now you you're gonna see me do something different today with him. There's the flocks of ducks. Now this dog would completely ignore food around prey, like these ducks, guanas that are all out there. You have to see, see his head. But first of all, he had he would take off and he would kill all these ducks um, and the iguanas too. There was no recall, there was no control, um, and he would, of course, ignore food, right? So now we have a situation. There's nothing on this dog. Super body. Iguanas are big down there. You can see them that. Come on, Blue. Now I'm going to add something in today. There he goes. Come on, Blue. See him? Come here. Yeah, he's down here. There he goes. There he goes, buddy. And he's with me the whole time. There's a ton of them down there. You can see him starting to run. There he goes. Come on. Yeah, getting into the getting into the stock. There that one goes. Nice blue, nice. And I'll show you how he'll take he'll take food now. In a second, we're going to deal with iguanas. So now I can introduce food, toy, anything I want because I've done my hunting game and I've dealt with these things. Yeah, buddy. He's ready to go. Now, Luke, come. Now he takes food, right? There's one right in the tree. Come on. One right there in the tree. See, now food's no problem. Look at this. There he goes. Come on. Doing this again today to show you this is no fluke. Nothing's on the dog. Look at them all jumping in. And he's just with me. There's a guy right there. You see him, Blue? You see him? Let's go get him. Come on. Come on. There he is, he's gonna jump in, so trying to get both of them at the same time. Come on, Blue. Yeah. And look where he goes. Super body. Look, come. And I'm just doing the recalls right now to show you. I mean, he'll, he'll take food out here now. 
right? So, take care of the competing reinforcers. I, I don't do it like most people do, and they try to, they starve the dog, let's be honest, okay? You, you don't feed the dog, you make the dog work for the food, and you get them crazy about food. And then slowly, as you're feeding the dog, slowly bring in distractions. I don't do that at all. I did that years ago. I, I, that was the big thing when that came out, and I've done it. And, and I just know it's not the best way to go. To go, it, just like for most dogs, it's not the best just to see distraction, have a toy, toy, toy. I deal with the. And when I say distraction, it's competing reinforcers. I deal with that, and once I deal with that, then the dog will go out and play with you, and the dog will take food from you or whatever you want to do because this dog is in control around competing reinforcers around the ducks around dogs around guanas out here he's in control he's in a much better state of mind he understands this I changed the picture of this whole situation with him so now he'll play with me he'll take food from me um, turtle <laughs> he's slow um, and so a lot of these dogs you can you know build food drive and not feed them a few days and they work for their food and the pit bulls especially he's half pit bull husky too and and then you bring them outside and as soon as the competing reinforcer the real one shows up they will blow that off they will not eat for five, six days and go fight a dog. And if you've dealt with the hot pit bulls, you know this, because I get the calls. Trainers, trainers call, call me like Instagram, big, big, big names call me. <laughs> because, you know, when it comes to the serious dogs, like the, like the hot pit bulls and stuff, they're, 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 they're like, you know, it blows through the e-collar, it, it, it won't take food even though they've done all of their quote-unquote foundational work with that stuff. You have to know how to deal with the competing reinforcers and you go and you deal with it. That's what you have to do. And you show the dog a different picture and then you come out and the dog will take food, the dog will play toy. And I've shown this over and over again. All right, buddy. And I'll mention this too today. Um, a lot of people now they're they're tra trainers they're watching my stuff and the day after I post something then they go and they repeat it um, I've had some people post about the hunting game already um, like they do it and they don't know what I do because I haven't even shown what I do yet I've shown the results of it but they 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 they, they don't know these people get blocked some some they somebody else send they put up a post today about um how dogs blow through the e-collar and on high and if you do it right and, and then you can you can do it and they posted a picture in words and they and they don't show anything right and their solution was quote unquote relationship trainers love to fall back on that like their answer to everything that they really don't have an answer for is Oh, it's, it's all relationship. It's relationship. It's relationship. Really? What does that mean? You know? You're not going to just get relationship with a dog like this. Or my Pitbull Jade and Rosie and Oreo and those kind of dogs. Get their relationship and come out and recall them off of, off of prey and dogs and stuff. Sorry. Sorry. That, that's, not, that's not how that works. All right? Um, and, and please show something like show some video right show what you do let's go buddy let's go see if, you see if they're out, out again that's why I'm letting this run and we're walking around and it's not and, and you see there's nothing on this dog 
um, making the dog recall for electric is a mistake. Not saying you can't use the electric to teach recall, but the way almost everybody does it, they, they make the dog, the electric is the recall. And that's why they never really get one. And, and that's why on a real, real hot dog, pit bulls and stuff, they blow through it on high because you need the electric to get the recall and they blow through it on high. It's not taught correctly. And, and everybody does it this way. They start the electric and then they make the dog come. And, the, and then they turn off the electric when the dog starts to come. Recipe, especially with pit bulls, real ones, to never get a real recall off of prey. And it, it, it's just a mess. And that's what everybody does. And I don't know how many of these things I, I have to show with these kind of dogs to show what I do with them. And you remember I posted yesterday, he was jumping in this lake after, after prey. Wish I had some food. They fly, he just looks at them. Quack, quack, come on. No recall on these ducks whatsoever, none. Ducky, come. Nothing. You came, buddy. So we clean this out. So we're gonna, they're all on the other bank. You guys you probably can't see, they swim across and there's like 10, 12 of them on the other bank right now. So we're gonna head back. Nice blue wanted to show this again i believe um somebody told me once like someone was asking him about how much proof sh sh should you show and he said if you were on trial murder and you had 500 witnesses to say that you were somewhere else and it was impossible for you for you to have done you have done that how many witnesses would you show? And he said, I would parade all 500 of them in front of, in front of the jur jury. He goes, you show as much evidence as you have. And if you're not showing anything, that means you don't have any evidence. So be careful when you listen to experts. Um, once again, there's a lot of pictures and words Look for evidence, long videos. I know reels, I, I get it, man. From marketing, that's that's great. You get you views they, and, they, and they get you this. But if you're gonna start, if you're making claims and you're saying you can do things with dogs, show it, show it. Like really show it. Parade that five, five, 500 witnesses in front of jury, which is everybody, right? All right, buddy? Right, buddy? All right, buddy! We're gonna go home, buddy. All right, over and out. All right, I hope you liked the video. Um, now I, I want to explain. You, you guys saw that I introduced food, okay? Um, now I want to explain why I, I would not introduce food to the hunting game, okay? I, I gave him some food recalls there to show that he will take food there now when he wouldn't before. And I explained about competing re reinforcers and how I deal, deal with them and stuff. But for the, for the hunting game, I would not use food. Okay. And I actually made some slides here just so I don't, I get the words, the words, right. You know, um, let me put this up so you, so you guys can see. All right. It's all about in intrinsic and extrinsic motivation most people do not understand this intrinsic motivation is designed as a do doing of, a, of an activity for its inherent satisfaction rather than for some separable consequence when intrinsic when intrinsically motivated a person or dog is moved to act for, for the fun of the challenge entailed rather than because of external products pressures or rewards an example of intrinsic motivation is, is participating in a sport because it's fun and you enjoy it rather than doing it to win or an award. Training through play in the context of a game, a sport, 
is very different than using a toy or food as a reinforcer. This is really, really misunderstood. The difference is so incredibly vast and the, and the results so superior. Once I experienced it, it changed the way I approached all of my training forever. And there are many problems with extrinsic re reinforcement. One is the weakening or, or ruining incredible intrinsic reinforcers that are much more pow powerful if used properly. Um, a big thing here is almost everybody trains with extrinsic reinforcers. They bring in food. That's extrinsic. Okay. And the dog does, does the things it does for the extrinsic re re reinforcer. And now trainers try to say that they're making a, a, a self reinforcing activity because Ivan has said this. Um, I have, I've said it many times. So now people say that, but you're using food, you're using an extrinsic re reinforcer and saying you're creating an intrinsic, intrinsically reinforcing activity situation, right? But what most people also don't know that using an extrinsic reinforcer ruins, weakens or ru ruins intrinsic reinforcement that's that's already there and strong i it's much be better if you tap into the intrinsic reinforcement and use it than right away bringing in extrinsic reinforcers sometimes for some dogs for certain things yes yes you you're going to bring those things in you're going to bring in food i'm not saying don't train with food this and that but understand the difference between the two and what you're trying to do and why. I've created with the hunting game a, a, a tremendously intrinsic, intrinsic reinforcing situation for dogs. Why would I bring food into that now? Trainers try to train play with food. Play is a pr primary reinforcer for dogs. Why would you bring in food? and weaken the intrinsic reinforcement of play. And, and that's what it does. It affects different parts of, of a dog's brain. And, 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 and man, you're not going to teach a dog to play by play with fetch with a ball and this and that by, by, by rewarding it with food. You're killing the intrinsic reinforcement. So, so I showed you here that that I can bring in food now. The dog wouldn't need food there be, because I've changed the mindset of this dog as, as to what the world means to him and what that situation means to him and stuff. So he will take food now. But I, I would not with this dog bring food into that hunting game with him because it's, it's such a powerful and strong intrinsically self-reinforcing activity we're doing together. Food 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 would just screw it up now there's a reason i might bring food into this for the owner to change things even more for them because they're not going to play a hunting game with me and i can get into that i can get into why i would do that that's different let, let me i'll i will talk about that another day